Former Virginia Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli, otherwise known as the Cooch, uh, is going to go on television and talk about Black Lives Matter, because he's an expert on this. He says he's a little offended by uh, this hashtag uh, about uh, civil rights folks saying, hey, you know what, uh, maybe the cops should take a little bit more care with our lives. He says there's a problem, though. All right, let's find out why the Cooch is offended. And talk to me about why it is that some people, and I'm not saying you feel this way, but why are some people out there resentful of the Black Lives Matter hashtag? Like, what, yeah, I think the way Bakari said it is, is actually very valuable. Adding to, T-O-O -O at the end, puts it in a context that makes sense. But it's implicit, though. I mean, it's well, it, you may say that, and, and, and there's plenty of reason to understand that, but I don't think every American hears it that way. They hear, here we are. Yes, we have this political motivation that we're separating out this one category of Americans and saying they matter more than everybody else. That's actually what a lot of no, people no, see. No, we're saying, we're saying stop killing us. We're saying yeah, my I, life I, and matters. I, and I understand in that. It takes I understand that. that but that's why, you have the, that's why you have the retort. No, all lives matter. Right. We're not leaving these out, whoever that speaker is. In this case, you've got Jeb Bush up there. I'm saying it here. Okay, so he just wants to be clear that white lives matter too. It's, it's true. There's an epidemic of uh, black cops uh, shooting unarmed white men in this country, an epidemic. Oh, right, that's not really an issue in the country. Uh, what we have is an issue that's obvious, which is unarmed black guys and uh, being shot, let alone unarmed black women being dragged out of cars and later uh, showing up dead in jail cells. So that's the issue at hand. In fact, let me give you numbers behind that issue. Young black people are four and a half times more likely to be killed by police than any other age or racial group, according to the Center on Juvenile and Criminal Justice. And while black Americans comprise just 13% of the U.S. population, they make up 26% of those shot by police. Now, I know what the, some folks in the right wing are going to say. Oh, well, they had it coming. I mean, blacks are more violent, more criminal, and that's why they got shot by the cops more. No, but remember what Michael uh, Wood said on the program. Uh, he is a b former uh, Baltimore cop. I interviewed him here. He said, look, even if we were assigned to white areas, we knew we couldn't make arrests there. You, you could be a judge's son. You can get into trouble. So we'd go into black neighborhoods to go bother them and make arrests over there because they had no power. No, they are targeting blacks. He said, what did you think? And this is a former Baltimore cop saying that this is what we did. He says, what did you think? That the black communities all across this country were lying for hundreds of years? Okay, they're all lying? No, of course, they share a, a perspective that you don't share, Ken Cuccinelli. You don't, you're not at risk of being shot by cops because you're a former attorney general, you're white, you're uh, part of the establishment, you live in the right neighborhood. Now, it doesn't mean that you sh there's no risk at all, and it's not just racial. Believe me, the cops will um, you know, roll you over you if you're a poor white person in the wrong neighborhood as well, right? Uh, it, it's, it's the elite that have uh, get out of jail free card more than anyone else. Uh, but Ken Cuccinelli apparently can't understand that and he wants it to be more inclusive. I guess he would have said the same thing to civil rights uh, protesters who would show up with signs like this. Now, wait a minute, why didn't they say white people are a man too? Why didn't they say I am a man as well? Now, this is a, obviously a huge part of the civil rights movement. You see, they had to say I'm a man because they were not being treated like human beings. You have to say black lives matter because it's apparent that some cops in the country don't think they matter and then a lot of right wingers back them. When people like Elizabeth Hasselbeck says, well, I mean, Sandy Bland got put in jail for not putting out her cigarette as she was commanded by a police officer, but maybe that was a threat to the police officer, her cigarette. Oh yeah, maybe. That's why they have to say it. So, but now the cooch is, is a well-known advocate of terrible ideas. He actually lost his bid to become the governor of Virginia, partly because while attorney general, he tried to outlaw blowjobs. True story. He said that he wanted sodomy to be literally against the law. Not gay marriage, any act of sodomy. But he was being fair. He was saying, look, I'm not just targeting gays, although obviously that's why he introduced the law in the first place. Uh, but sodomy is not just anal, but it's also oral sex. So nobody in Virginia would have been allowed to have either one of those things. And if he caught you getting a blowjob, he'd have put you in jail. Is he not merciful? So that's this cooch. Now, uh, I took him seriously, though, and I think that uh, he might be on to something. Uh, 
I want to see if these hashtags take off as well, because these are very powerful. So these are cooch-like suggestions. Hashtag Black Lives Matter also. A hashtag Black Lives Matter uh, as well. And my favorite, hashtag additionally Black Lives Matter. I think the cooch is on to something again. I hope he doesn't screw the cooch this time.